Hello there. How are you doing? Life's a bit messy lately. Yeah, mine too. Good thing there are management ideas that we can use. Let's get started. Sometimes, in school, work and at home, we are bombarded with so much things to do. With all these activities, we encounter so many problems. And then another problem, and then just another problem. How can we organize these thoughts so we can come up with an appropriate solution? Project managers have used this technique called problem tree analysis. Using the problem tree analysis, they are able to come up with the main problem, causes, and its effects. So how to create a problem tree? We shall start with the concept structure. First, we put the main problem on the trunk of the tree the causes in its roots, and the effects in its branches. The main problem has its immediate effects and immediate causes. The immediate causes answers the question, what caused the main problem? Here are the important steps so you can come up with your own problem tree. Step 1. Write down all the problems. Step 2. Agree on the main problem. And step 3. Identify the causes and effects. If you follow these three steps, you can come up with your own problem tree. Here's an example problem. Many children are having difficulties learning these days. Some were able to submit the school requirements, some did not. The schools have closed due to the COVID pandemic, and teachers have to teach online instead. Students need to buy laptops and gadgets if they want to continue their education. Some could not afford such mode of learning. It is just too expensive. It does not help that many people lost their jobs during this time. The number of enrollees continue to drop. From the example problem presented, we proceed to step 1. Write down the problems. Children having difficulty learning. Students unable to submit requirements. Schools closed. Resorted to online teaching. Could not afford education. Too expensive learning materials. Needed to buy laptops and gadgets. Many people lost jobs. A number of enrollees dropped. Then step two agree on the main problem. It seems that from the problems written, it comes down with one core problem, inconvenient mode of learning. We shall now then proceed to step 3, identify the causes and effects. First, we put the main problem, inconvenient mode of learning. Now, what causes this inconveniency? Yes, that's right. They needed to buy laptops and gadgets. And why do they need to buy laptops and gadgets? It's because they resorted to online teaching. And why is that? Because the schools have closed. Another problem in needing to buy laptops and gadgets is that students could not afford. And why? It is too expensive. From the causes, we proceed to the effects. Because of inconveniency, children had difficulty learning. And because of this difficulty, they failed to submit school requirements. And then the number of enrollees dropped. This is just one example of a problem tree. We have come up with the main problem and the root causes. It is important to note that in making the problem tree, 
the problems gathered should be realistic and solvable. Realistic means that the problems should be current actual problems and not imagine future problems. It is also solvable so that we can come up with an appropriate solution. Thank you for listening and I hope this analysis will be useful to your situation. Have a great day!